times. Welcome back to my channel, Coco Hummingbird. Um, okay, I'm doing a new reading that I came up with based on um, like kind of the typical three card spread in tarot. Um, it's called Blocker Bay. So basically, we do a little digging and find out the energies for your partner for the past, the present, and the future. Their feelings, their actions, and then an outcome card. And if I feel I need to clarify, I will. So let's get started. So the Virgo, Taurus, Capricorns, partner past. How are you guys doing? How is the weather around where you stay? It has been super rainy here. I don't know why springtime just got depressed for like the last two or three days. But... Well, I called that one. So presently, they could be feeling stressed out, uh, mental anguish, a lot of uh, thoughts, things going on. In the past, there could have been some deception and lying. And in the future, uh, they could hold back. Um, but at the bottom, we do have the Page of Cups. So small offers could come through to you. Um, let's get the feelings and action. Oh. This is the feelings card. Sorry, Earth sign. Let me. Okay. All right, they could be working hard. Um, and that may be what's causing this mental anguish presently. Um, that could affect why they hold back in the future. And as far as the Seven of Swords, um, that could be why they're feeling betrayed. So whether this is you or your partner, apply it as it fits, um, if it resonates. But... Someone is feeling betrayed, possibly still holding on to that betrayal, stressing over it because of the past deception and lies. And in the future, as um, the future energy of the that person, your partner, it, it's like they hold back because of that. They see the cup of love. They see the Ace of Cups, but they're like, no. Or I don't know. Um, and then the actions they're taking, the King of Swords in reverse. So not talking, but not cutting you off. Um, and then, like I said, working really hard, too. I just feel like someone's really working hard. They have a lot of stress going on. So I'm going to clarify um, the past, present, and future first. In the past... <laughs> came back out. So this could be where someone actually had an affair at work or surrounding work or with a coworker or someone from work or um, told lies about work. Maybe, you know, um, lied about how much money they made, lied about uh, the type of job they had, something of that nature. But it's some type of deception around hard work or a work environment. Um with this person in the past. Um, in the present, so I feel like even though they're working hard, they don't have enough to provide stability. And whether it's for just themselves or for the relationship, which I feel like it could be like 
a number of people because in this card you have like pets, you have a child, you have like an elder woman. So it could be not being able to provide for their family, um, whether their family includes you right now or not. Um, they're not able to fully provide the stability that they want to provide and that's stressful along with whatever other things may have been occurring, like whatever may be coming at them from work or um, whatever, whatever may have transpired within your relationship. Um, let's get clarifier on the future. Oh, they feel so here they are. Um, well, I was going to flip them. Okay, either way, they're in the verse. All right, so in the future, holding back communication, um, not really coming in um, to talk about it, maybe not expressing how they feel or what they have going on fully, um, and someone becomes impatient with that. Um, or... There's just like a lack of peace. That's what I'm getting to. So not feeling at peace. Like they, this may be something, this heavy energy may take a while to actually like move out and transition out because they don't have any like universal cards, any like um, transitioning cards, anything like the will or judgment or anything. They don't have any of those on the board. So this, he excuse me, this heavy energy may take a, a little bit of time to like move out. So in the future, whether it's like, you know, just within the month of May, because this is a May reading um, for Blanca Bay, uh, they may just be holding back a bit because they can't find peace and they don't know how to communicate the things they need to say to you. Um, as far as their feelings of feeling betrayed or stabbed in the back, um, disappointed and let down. I'm going to try to clarify. Okay, it's because they planted seeds. So they feel like they planted seeds, whether they were big seeds or small seeds. No, they didn't offer the commitment right away um, or possibly could be dealing with a source. Um, but they felt like they planted seeds and maybe those seeds weren't appreciated um, or they didn't grow into the things that they thought they would grow into. Um, Or also they feel like they invested into this what they could only to be let down repeatedly. Um, and let's see their actions. They're not talking. And that's not really, I mean understandable if they have things going on, you know, outside of the relationship, but it's like, yeah, this came out sideways. So not talking, but wanting to come in passionately, wanting to take action. And so the Wheel of Fortune will be turning. And so this passion, excuse me, that's driving them may help aid you all and turning things around. Um, because presently, I don't see like a third party thing. I really just see like stress, um, trying to get stable, trying to find peace, trying to figure out how to express themselves. So they may just be going through a cycle, a karmic cycle that they need to come out of. And the Ten of Swords is in their feelings. Um, but you know, they don't have like the Ten of Wands or anything like in reverse to so, like saying they're releasing the burden. So they may not be at the end of this cycle yet and they're trying to come out of it, but it's really hard. And it's putting a lot of pressure on them. Um, an outcome card. One outcome card. Oh. So the Hermit. It didn't jump all the way. All right, nice shuffle. Nine of Pentacles. So maybe moving out of that sorrow and finding confidence. Or finally seeing that it wasn't that their investment was a waste. 
it was just that things needed to needed time to grow and blossom. Um, confidence needed to be built. I feel like within the investment that they made. So say they felt like they were making an investment because. Um, even though they have chaos going on in their personal life, you guys are dating and they would still take the time to maybe take you on a date once a month. And to to you, it may have been like once a month is nothing. Like I barely ever see you. We only talk ever so often. But to them, it was like I, I made that time. I didn't even really have that time. So it's like maybe not having the actual conversations, but maybe actually starting to see like un or understand like where you were coming from um that was just an example of a scenario but someone is starting like starting to feel confident in the relationship um or confident in themselves and as a reflection of that um things will probably start to turn around they'll move out of that sorrow and that temperance and reverse feeling so blogger bay this is an angel oracle. Within the next few weeks. Yeah, I feel like things will turn around for you. Um, they will start to, you know, build that confidence up and get out of that negativity that they're like this funk that they're in. And I feel like, yeah, um, see like the, there's like two people like at the park and then there's like the angel like guiding them or like uh i want to almost say like blessing them um and then there's the trees like growing and growth and the river or lake in between allowing things to flow a baby i i definitely say that um it just takes a little time and a little growth but I definitely say bay. So there you go, Earth Signs. That was the first blocker bay I've done on my channel. That was for May 2018. Um, whomever your partner is or the person you're crushing on, they may have a lot going on right now, but they are definitely worth the effort or not. It's not the effort because it's not really anything on the board saying what you need to do. Um, but just like, don't block. <laughs> don't block they call answer um you know you don't have to be at their every beck and call because it seemed like this person may have a lot going on so they may not always have time but you don't have to also like try to punish them by you know playing like little games back and forth like maybe not answering when they call because they didn't answer when you call last time or things like that like Definitely want to bay this person. They'll come out of this funk. They'll get better. They will improve. So I say bay. And I will see you guys next time.